So here we have a, a native arterial venous fistula between the brachial artery and the um, cephalic vein. We have an anastomosis between the artery and the vein here in the elbow region. We see nice laminar flow within the brachial artery. So we see that the blood is streaming uniformly red towards the transducer. That's why the vessel is nicely filled in red. We will optimize a bit the PRF. If we have a look with the post wave Doppler in the brachial artery prior to the anastomosis, we will see a flow pattern which is characterized by a low resistance pattern. So with a high diastolic flow. vessel towards the anastomosis. So normally less than 10% of the blood in the brachial artery will go past the anastomosis towards um, the arm and the hand. Not more than 90% is going through the anastomosis um, towards the vein and towards the heart. We see here in the post anastomotic region um, a zone where there's really high flow velocities. This is aliasing. So here we can suspect a stenosis. the nose is in the B mode because we can see a narrowing of the blood vessel. very high flow velocities. Like in this case, we see a peak velocity above 2 meters per, per second. Normally, a high-grade stenosis is defined by a 2 to 3 fold increase of blood flow velocity compared to an unaffected uh, segment. So we can, for example, measure the flow velocity just proximal to it, brachial artery, there we go, and 
very symmetrical flows where we had flows above 2 meters per second per, per second we are well below it I'm just checking my position vascular access ultrasonography is very delicate work because sometimes if you move your probe only for one millimeter you are out of the vessel so we or if the patient moves his arm. Okay. Okay. You see very clearly a flow maybe of a hundred maximum hundred centimeters per, per second. We saw uh, at least the doubling of the flow at the post anastomatic region together with the fact that we saw over the last three to four months a decrease in volume flow through the fistula from one liter per minute to five to six hundred liters per minute this is an extra argument that something uh, is wrong with the fistula and that further workup is needed by angiography